Yeah. Okay, we just got through a truckload of story. Jason's gone. Gotta check the fridge. Some choco flakes. Eat it? Yeah, you know I'm gonna eat it. It was ridiculously sweet. Well, I mean, we don't get anything for that, but that's okay. Going on and on and on. All right. Uh, let's head into town. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's evening time. Monday is one of the days we can do that new part-time job we've been meaning to do. But, unfortunately, we can't do it. We can buy some more tap sodas, though. The hypest playthrough on YouTube. Here's what you do. You buy a tap soda and a tap soda. You buy a fourth tap soda. And then you sit there and you let the machine think about it for a minute. Is he going to buy a fifth tap soda? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. Beep. 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 Hey. Uh, well. Nothing against Co, but not right now. I need to check the job board. That's why we're here. Can we take any of these other ones now? Because we've gotten to level 3 in a couple of different things now. Some diligence. Your diligence is sufficient. You've taken the job. Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Okay. What about tutoring? High understanding. I don't know if we have high understanding. Nope. So we need to get level 3 in that. Still, though. All right. So basically, we have the means to get to one other late night job. And we'll look to do that over this current place, although this current place has been good to us. As we talked about last time, the pubs. Whoops. No, 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 no. The pub has been super good to us. And given the choice to get a little bit of money and some stats, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of it. The heck with the home stuff. We'll just get a little bit of diligence. Got a brave old man. Not really what we're looking for, but plus two different stats and 1,500 yen. It's not not what we're looking for. Oh, the instant noodles really hit the spot. You know, the rainy season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the Midnight Channel. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Why are you so excited about that? That's right, it's the first time for you two. You realize the only purpose of the school campout is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass, that's slave labor! Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. The four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? You wish! Guys and girls sleep in different tents! I'm warning you, if you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. This gets worse and worse. I thought it was gonna be fun. It's only for one night, and we disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river. He's plotting something. Be careful. 
Did you know this week is health week? And you're not a part of the student. In other words, you're a lazy bump. Sir, I don't know if you've been watching me in the last two months, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. Okay. So this is new. Quiet, you. Shut it up. Shut it up good. <laughs> I mean... Okay. <laughs> Some frustration from Dunarakami that that's twice today. One about the camp out being lame and this. Yukun. No, I didn't get hurt. I'm the new club leader. I mean, member. Someone has to stay and watch the room. Um. <laughs> don't touch the Percocet, okay? Somebody comes in with a stubbed toe. You don't give them morphine. You don't give them Vicodin. That's wrong. Someone's here? Oh, of course someone's here. Kitao. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really an adult in the loosest sense of the word, but... Okay, in order for gauze. Got it. Huh. Okay. It was definitely Kitao. I think it was Santo, not Sando. I think it was Santo. So he was basically saying if it could skip a month. So I guess it's two months. Contra done immediately. Correct information. Oh. Knowledge and expression. Cool. <laughs> Konishi. <laughs> well. And here he is. Maybe this wasn't the original. I just don't remember it. I don't know. We certainly recognize that boy, don't we? room looks pretty clean already. And if for some reason you haven't figured out the connection, there it is. Saki Senpai's brother. <laughs> Guy hates Yosuke and me. I don't know why he hates me. You know what? I don't want you to be a little bitch. You help me clean. You can go after you help. Well, at least he's doing it to his credit. That's fair. Welcome back. Thank you. Fridge. No. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna keep slamming that part time job. I'm gonna look to pick up knowledge if I have the choice, but. Not gonna sweat it. It's better than anything we can do in the room right now. If we were able to buy one of those books that would boost the origami or the envelopes, then maybe it would be better then? Whoops, I didn't need to go check the job board again. Ha, <laughs> how silly. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Ooh, the understanding kid. We haven't actually talked. What? Haven't actually talked to him yet. We can use it though. We can use all the stats. Diligence up. 
Mumble, mumble, mumble. Sorry, grumble, grumble, grumble. That's my fault. <laughs> you listen to his complaints. Oh, understanding goes up. Very nice. That is the understanding we, in theory, needed for tutoring, I believe, right? I didn't see what... I wasn't paying attention. I'll have to look. Oh, Tatsumi-kun is back. Mmm. All right. The Heikendai competition. Beautiful moves based on balance. Hey, Dukun, what is that? Uh, well... I mean, in theory, both of these are based on balance. They mentioned balance explicitly. I assume it's that. We're taking a peek over here. It is indeed the balance beam. Ask me, not him. He's all worried because he knows I'm taking over. Blah, blah, blah. Oh! Expression's up. I think Yukiko was already ready for the next level, if I remember correctly, but hey. What are you going to do? Hey, guess what I just heard? When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play! <laughs> uh <laughs> let's just let's let's ask this the answer that I'm sure is not right, but No, not that kind of squeeze. Oh. I guess it's more like smooshing. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. What I mean is Talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back. What does? <laughs> oh, boy! All these choices are like the cluelessest. Man, you're a lot thicker than I thought. Anyway, I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? So I got you this. Want to get your license with me, partner? All right, so this is finally happening. Get ourselves a scooter. <laughs> Sweat. Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget, but at least that'll let us get to new places. Don't you think we deserve that much, seeing as how we're investigating the case? What's up, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip. You guys busy right now? Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help. No, we're not bringing a war. What does that mean, anyway? We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already... Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Eh, a bike's all I need for that. In any case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. Up-close-and-personal? What does that mean? Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle. And then... And then... A girlfriend. What? Okay, this is asking about Saki. God, I was like, what in the world is this question? But I get it now. I'm like a kindergartner. I like this, though. <laughs> Tell me more about your girlfriends. Now that's my partner. All right, then. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. I forgot about that. Shut up, this'll work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It 
doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up close and personal plan really starts. Up close and personal? Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. We gotta take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. Okay. What, fe feral zone? No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Pheromones? Dude, that's how a perv would react. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. Mm. I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So, partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Got it. Not you. I don't even know your uncle. I'm serious about this. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! It's true that with a motorcycle, your range of activities will increase somewhat. You know, Yosuke started off selling us good. Man, somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. But by the end, he sounded like a timeshare salesman. It does seem like a thing we should do. He's not going to like it. All right, it's raining, which means I don't think many of our social links that we would like to do are available, but we'll take a quick look. Just the quickest of looks. The entire hallway is virtually empty. So, um... Things are looking grim. No Yukiko. I assume no Chie. Now, we do have enough yen for the beef bowl. That is mighty tempting. Not even a Marie. Just too rainy for all these peoples. Let's get a beef bowl then. Might as well take advantage of it while it's raining. How much yen do we have? Oh, 7k because I've worked a couple times. Good, good, good. Good, good. Now, the only downside of this was I was going to go to the hospital for the first time tonight. Meet Dimension. Very nice. Uh, but if... Talking to Dojima is the key to getting a cycle, or a scooter for now, I guess. Then, let's do it. All right, Courage is up. Aya! Just keep throwing my yen at this place. All right, is this going to trigger automatically, or do I have to choose? Ah, you're back. Hi there. You want some meal, too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Well, excuse me. It's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Don't be stupid. But eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eerily proud of her daddy. <laughs> Did my joke slip away? It is an eel after all. Shut up, Teddy. Just eat your dinner. E yes, sir. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. Way to hit where it hurts. Hmm. What's the matter? 
A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Uh, I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he once went out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> Cause, I mean, it's not that bad, honestly, but I'm worried that's gonna hurt our chances with Dojima actually saying yes. Uh. There's no need to deny it. It's normal to feel that way. You say that, but... That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. It's me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. about this license? Did you decide on this yourself? No one talked you into it. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? Yeah, it's a little heavy on the bottom one. I'm sure I can trust you to do that, but allowing you to get one is another thing. Don't give me that face. I know you're serious about this. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. <laughs> what a conveniently timed phone call. Yo, it's me. How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can! I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. He really does. He just wants the feeling of boobs on his back. And you know what? That's kind of the American dream. <laughs> you do wonder about that. But they're gone. Review the manual. Do I have to stay in? Yes. Eh. Probably stayed up too late studying for motorcycles. I doubt I'll pass. Everything comes easily to me. I got it. Please stop talking about that, you pervert. Oh, there he goes. Get it, kid. Get it. Okay, I guess this is just happening. <laughs> the answer seems to be flowing from your hand. All right. Got a key item. Didn't have to do any work at all. Put the Yosuke pass. <laughs> we passed on the first try. Just like we planned. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. Hi. Are you on duty? We just stopped by to get gas. And, well... To take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? <laughs> yes. Guy could be a petulant teenager or. Already? 
I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Oh well. Looks like I better think of a way to convince my sister. <laughs> eh, let's just say thank you. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes, you got the okay. I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. I'm letting you have it. Well, this is weird because it sounds like this is a nice coat from uh, Batman Begins. We don't want that, and this is not what we're asking at all. He's just letting us borrow it. Or maybe he's not. It doesn't matter. We'll just say thank you. Make sure you take good care of it. You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back streets, too, so a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Well, anyway, I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Hell yeah. Good. I'll hold you to that. Oh, Adachi, always getting in trouble running your mouth. Oh, still after school. Okay. Well, I know eventually you get to go to a new city. I'm not sure if that's right away or not. This is Thursday after school. Well, we should probably try riding the scooter, but before we do... Day after day, yay, yay, yay. The job board. All right. We should be able to pick up that last job now. And this way we won't have to ever come back over to the job board again. Okay. So that understanding was level three, but we don't need level three. There we go. Hmm. Must be level four. I do remember you get like 10k yen from the tutor job, so I'm not surprised that they're keeping it kind of arm's length. Still kind of a bummer, though. That's all right. Uh, let's leave the shopping district and let's try the motorcycle. Let's see what it does. Sorry, the scooter. Sorry. Sorry. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Uh... Uh, well, let's, uh, well, let's do the first one, I guess. Yeah. around a little more to get better acquainted with the area. Oh, we got courage. Okay. Not bad. You're back. 
Yes. Can work as a janitor at the hospital today. We probably will be doing that, by the way. Nothing here. No Nanako or Dojima. All right. I mean, we need to do this at least once. Yes! <laughs> Creepy job. Oh yeah, this also increases our courage, right? <laughs> you ignore the sound. Yeah. Okay. That's the other bonus of this. It's kind of a package deal. Get a social link going. Get some courage sometimes. <laughs> We're snooping, as always. The empty room, dot, dot, dot. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're cute. You're the student who started working here today, right? I'll show you something fun the next time you're here. Um. I'll see you again. Wendy Lee, no. I'm only 16-ish. 5,000 yen. Our best source of money right now. Yo! Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I think he's not really your, um, forte. Thinking hurts my brain. <laughs> I'm good at reasoning. You are really good at kicking things. There's no denying that. Don't oh, running girl. She's my friend from the health squad thing. All right. We could take our scooter for a ride. It's raining, so I'm su a little bit surprised that's an option. All my bros are there. No drama, although we haven't done that in forever anyway. Is there a Yukiko? I'd really like to get her... Mm, it's raining, so... This does not shock me. Nobody up here. So, unless there's a Marie... We're either doing Scooter or Beef Bowl. Let's do Scooter, because Beef Bowl is a known quantity... And Scooter could lead to untold possibilities. Well, right, let's take a long ride this time. I can't do that yet. Okay. Good to know. Maybe this will trigger it. A couple rides around the neighborhood, then we're good to go. After getting lost. A very good feel. A little more. Probably one more time then. Rule of three and all. Video games. Okay. Some free courage too, so can't complain. Um, so we can do that again. Might as well. Uh, first of all, I think we're already ready to rank up with her, and second of all, no. Now, we will start doing that a little bit later in the game. We're gonna st Once we start getting our stats up to, like, rank four or so, we're going to want to just start focusing more on the social links, and we're going to need to to start ranking them up more efficiently. <laughs> I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I have no privacy. Nice work. <laughs> no, you have not. I'm Sayoko Uehara. Nice to meet you. Hot coffee, you say? Oh, not, not, oh. <laughs> What? 
Okay, creepy music is playing. <laughs> um. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, so she's weird, and no matter what, this social thing goes off in a weird direction, but let's just go along with it. <laughs> we won't back down from a challenge. <laughs> we can make out right in this old man's hospital bed, except he's a ghost, he's not there. Mischievous affection, and here it comes. Oh. Oh. The Devil Arcana. Not the most promising of starts. The person with the Devil Arcana in P3 was kind of a jerk. Though if you really worked hard on that social link, he kind of came around by the end, sort of. <laughs> I'll see you again. Right back to the creepy music. Five thousand yen. Put that directly into our mouth. Huh, just right to after school. All right, so we could probably finish off. Oh, I do want to do that at some point too, though. We have so many things to do. We need to see who's available, though. We need to get some S-Links up so that if we do get any in-between ones, like we did with Yukiko a minute ago, that we're not wasting them. Uh, are you ready, Broske? We did get one plus. It's rank up. Broske, you're out of control. Is there a Yukiko? I mean... I just... Chie, Chie, not ready to advance yet. Hmm. Um, let us do the part-time job once. Uh, scooter's intriguing though. I keep putting it off though, and this is an opportunity to just get it done. Uh, yes, because it should also start a social link. It's nice to get rank one in these because then it's easier to tell when you can get subsequent ranks, even if you don't want to. You just have the option. The children are really interested. Right from the word go, do you have a girlfriend? Let's play tag. You're it. <laughs> Understanding. Cool. When I first played this game, by the way, I thought he was wearing a blue short uh, shirt that was really short, and then like a red mini skirt, like the shortest of short shorts. But no. Oh, you coon! You coon! But that's my game. Thanks for taking care of him. Sure. Uh, uh, maybe too much energy. <laughs> Stepmoms. I know, man. It's rough. <laughs> I know this is a kind of a backwater town, a small town, but everybody's always so obsessed with, like, he's from the city. Whoa, the city. There's nothing to do around here. It's the pits. I mean, calm down. Ooh, 6,000 yen. Oh. Didn't quite start the social link yet, but hey. Welcome home. Thank you. Fridge. Um. <laughs> Nanako. Saturday evening means no hospital. I'm assuming I can't do this at night, correct? Um. Hmm. There's an Adachi. I think we're just going to work at our old pub. Let's just duck up here real quick, see if anybody's here. Nope. 
not a chance. All right. We're going to hope to raise either expression or knowledge. Yes. We have plenty of time to raise knowledge, so if expression's an option, we'll be going with that. And I forget if it was. I think it is. I think all four of them except diligence are an option here. Uh, talkative mans, yep. Hmm, still not rank three. Nice, we got a big 2,000 yen because it was full, and then another 2,000 yen. So I guess that's the thing. It looks like, I thought maybe that was random, like if you got a tip or not, but it looks like whenever there's four people there, you get more money. We do have this nice little lull here where Kanji's safe. We're past this game over point, but nobody's in the TV yet. Hello. Do I? That's the only time I can find you. God. I hope this ranks up. What are you making? Uh, uh -huh. I can't promise that. <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Get someone to teach you. I'm a good cook. Want me to teach you? Mm -hmm. Well, we tried. <laughs> Which is what you do when you're in a rush and you're running a business, you know? This is how you do it. This is how... You know what? Just give me that. I'll do it. Just... 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 Mm. You're pretty bad. Let's just do the bottom one. Let's be nice. Twice now we've gotten her blushing. Yep. A faint hint of love from Yukiko. Rank six. I forgot she was six. I thought she was still stuck at four. That's good. What do we got here? Amrita. I feel like that's good. Because there's a soda that does that effect too. Oh yeah, shopping. <laughs> All right, let's go home. Okay. We'll, we'll do that. I, y it's fine. Welcome back. Thank you. The fridge is full of food, huh? Unfortunately, doing that takes up the rest of our time. Um, Yukiko, what does that do? Yeah. So basically... We'll have to see what the mana costs are, but that means Mipatra is very likely to be the next thing to go when we hit 21 and get Agilau. Alright. Cool. Uh, Sunday evening. Sunday evening, rain is falling. What are we going to do on a Sunday evening? We'll go to the pub? Feels like we're going to be working at the pub. Now, going out with Yukiko means we didn't have time to shop. This is interesting, though, and might be what happens. Let's see if this is full. Oh, it is. Oh. But there's always time to work at the pub. There's a Yukiko outside. It's kind of rare. Huh? <laughs> Oops. I really should have a persona that matches hers, though. I don't have a priestess. She seems bored. Hold on a minute, Yukiko. Give me one sec. <laughs> no Igor or Marie. Oh, excuse me. 
Do you have any business here? Mm, as you can see, my master is currently away. If your errand isn't urgent, I regret to ask that you come back late. No, that won't do. This room is bound tightly to your fate. Nothing here happens without a reason. There must be meaning in our meeting here alone. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I am Margaret. I am the one who rules over power, invited here after my predecessor's sudden disappearance. You may be the first person who has ever been welcomed here by someone other than my master. The Velvet Room is inseparable from the heart of its invited guest. The shape of the room and its residents are selected by my master, based on the number of guests and their destiny. Shall we chat? I feel that is what I'm called to do. Hmm. <laughs> Did I just stumble upon... Well, this is fine as long as it doesn't waste the rest of the night. We do have level 3, what was it, Courage? Understand? I don't remember which. So this is why this is happening. She kind of hinted at it before. And it's great if it's free. It's bad if I just lost my knight. I don't think that can happen in here. Empress, like Mitsuru. We've lost our voice. But I liked her voice. Do you understand? Somewhat is the best I can muster. Entangle me within it as well. Sounds hot. And this is why we don't really do Margaret's social links. We don't have what she's looking for, so we're just going to have to leave. And go back in. <laughs> well, Igor's back, but look what we have down here. Powerful strokes. Where am I going, you ask? Don't ask stupid questions. I don't need a map. I throw away my compass. My heart will show me the way. I walk by myself. Am I not lonely, you ask? Yeah, right. I scorn the company of my own shadow. Freedom, that is the rule. Why don't you try and hold me down? I will die magnificently in front of you. No one can break my wings. That's a little violent. What is this? <laughs> whoa, 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 what? I hate you, you stupid rule breaker. Guys, I'm just here for looking for a persona. Can we calm down? <laughs> Look, I know every lady is attracted to me, and most guys, because I'm new Narukami. And that's fine. I just... I'm here for a persona. That's all. I just need a compendium. I feel like we had Pixie, who was priestess? No, magician. Which we could also stand to have, because Broske, we actually don't have a priestess. Uh, can we make one? We don't have a whole lot on hand that we can just get rid of. Um, yeah. Can't even make Phoenix if we wanted to. Not a high enough level. Well, I guess we are out of luck then. So, because I have this guide open for the purpose of quests, quests, tests, 
I know that what we're going to be cooking tonight for lunch is something that apparently Yukiko really likes. So rather than spend the night with her, we'll do this. Hope to get an even bigger boost. It sounds like it's a better boost. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make potato salad. I don't think you stir fry them. But if you smash them up while they're hot, you get nice mashed potatoes. It went on and on and on. Mushy potato salad. Well, <laughs> mushy, not typically a positive adjective, but yeah. Today's the day people begin wearing their summer clothes. Oh. Three outfits. We know what one of them is. It's just the main one with glasses, but still, that's cool. Might be about time to switch it up. Stripe down our pants. No need for a jacket. Mmm. <laughs> I love the blatant Adidas ripoff on her sport bag. <laughs> well done. I would like to eat my lunch now. Okay. <laughs> Mushy. Wow, this is good. Just like last time, she really likes it. She's asking about the chef thing again. Oh. It was Yukiko's favorite. Okay. Well, it looks like we're ready for the next level, at least. Hmm. <laughs> Don't waste your days. I won't. <laughs> Lactic acid, a.k.a. the thing that ruins everybody on Cliffhanger on Ninja Warrior... Uh, this is anaerobics. Pretty confident. Looking real quick. Correct. Mm-hmm. But anything with, like, weightlifting or that causes a lot of strain, and that's why the cliffhanger is so hard. You're just suspending your entire body weight as you go across this ridiculous obstacle, and then eventually your arms just can't do it. Too much lactic acid builds up. All right. We got part-time job. We got motorcycle. But the question is, who is free? If Yosuke is there, we know he's a possibility. He is. He's also wearing his summer clothes. Drama's back. Is Yukiko here? Yes, she is. Well... It is going to become closer. Hold on, I want to see. She looks a bit sad. I know, I had that effect. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. This one makes more sense. Uh huh. <laughs> Vaguely. Oh. Hmm? Uh oh. Huh? Blushing furiously. 
We're just sitting there, just chilling. <laughs> Notice that she looked at me and she was like, yep, that boy you brought, that's boyfriend material. And Yukiko knows it is true. <laughs> They're not mistaken. God. I mean, let's be brave. Sheesh. <laughs> the constant blushing. Oh my gosh, she's like Michelle. Sweating profusely all the time. <laughs> Halfway successful. This is just weird. It's just weird because it's like this reverse trope. In America, for better or worse, the idea is, well, women stay in the kitchen and they're pregnant and barefoot and they cook and make me a sandwich and whatever, right? In Japan, at least in video games, no woman can ever cook. This is a handy ability. The first time something would kill her, she basically survives with one HP. Bye. Bye. Welcome back. Thank you. There's a frozen banana inside. Seems normal, but... Look, the goal is to eat everything. The word dad is written on the banana peel. You didn't see it. It didn't even give me any benefit, but you know what? I still feel nothing. Nothing. Anybody hanging out? Anybody? If not, we're going to work at the uh, pub. Sorry, Ko. You're not a party member, so you're not important. Love you. Just that guy, huh? All right, well, hold on. Hold on, I need to do something. Okay, well, I walked back in, so I'm not going to the vending machine. I'll do it tomorrow. The hell with it. Basic, but good. Oh, yeah, it's coming up this Friday, I think. Friday or Saturday. <laughs> They're trying to get out of it. They're not going to succeed. All the children's will suffer. No two children's will not suffer. All right, broski, I got to do a couple quick errands. And besides, if you're in here, it means no social link. Even if Yukiko's here, I can't imagine her being ready. We're getting to the high levels now. She's not here. It's raining, but I'll check the roof anyways. I think it's possible. Jason was saying it was. All right. Now, we keep kind of jumping into our objectives and skipping past the afternoon. So before we do that, let's check for books. <laughs> Increase courage. Catch more bugs, which we haven't even done. And more courage. It's interesting that this one's way cheaper. We're going to buy it because it's super cheap and it'll give us some more options down the road. 
Uh, I don't know if we need two different Courage books. I think we'll let it rock at that. That one's just almost too cheap not to get it, though. Uh, we don't have any need to go there. We are going to buy some things at the vending machine, since I walked past it last night. That way there's going to come a point in time where I can extend my stay in the TV world instead of leaving and coming back on another night just by blowing through like 50 tap sodas. Almost hit X on Orange Smash. <laughs> Dodged a bullet there. Um, we're going to finish up the bike thing. Hopefully. These rainy days mean social links are kind of a bust, but motorcycle? Not a bust.